Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about pointers. A pointer is a special variable which can store address of another variable. To understand pointer, we can take this example. It is a pointer declaration. So to declare a variable as a pointer, we have to use this asterisk symbol. Here P is a pointer which can store address of an integer type variable. So suppose uh, there is a variable a and its value is 5. Now we are trying to assign address of a into p. So this ampersand symbol is known as address of operator which assigns address of any particular variable inside any pointer. So we can understand this with the help of this example. Suppose this is a block which is a, its value is 5 and its address is 101. Now if we try to assign address of A into a pointer. So this is a pointer. Pointer all, uh, also occupies some amount of memory. If we try to assign address of A, then it becomes value of P. So the value of P is 101, which is address of A. So we can draw a line like this. Address of A is inside pointer P. Uh, this is another example. Again we have a variable A whose value is 5 then pointer P. So this is A. Its value is 5 and suppose its beginning address is 101. This is P pointer if we assign address of A into P, so value of P becomes 101, which is address of A. So if we print value of A, it will print 5 because A is equals to 5. Now, what does it mean? Asterisk P. So we know value of P is 101 and if we place asterisk before it. So asterisk means value at address. Remember asterisk means value at address. So if we solve this equation, asterisk means value at address and address is 101. So what is the value of 101? It is 5. So what will be the output of asterisk p? Obviously it is 5. This is another example. We have to identify the outputs. So uh, we can take example uh, of previous slide. Uh, suppose uh, there is a variable a whose value is 5, then a pointer p. If we assign address of a into p, then p will contain uh, address of a. Now the equation is a equals to a plus asterisk p. So the value of a is 5. Asterisk p is 5. If we add 5 plus 5, so the current value of A becomes 10. So the output of A will be 10. Now what is the meaning of asterisk P? So its meaning is asterisk 101. So uh, previously uh, value at this address was 5. Now if value of A is 10. So asterisk 101 will also print 10. So we can understand it with the diagram. Suppose this is A. Initially it is 5 and suppose its address is 101. Then there is a pointer P. Its value is 101. When we perform this operation, so a plus asterisk p means 5 plus 5. If we assign 10 inside a, so value of a is 10. So this is correct. Now, what will be the result of asterisk 101? So you can easily identify. Now current value of 101 is 10. So asterisk 101 equals to 10. So both the answers are correct.
Now this is another example. Here we have used asterisk p instead of a. So uh, right hand side asterisk p will provide 5. This a will provide 5. So 5 plus 5 uh, will be equals to 10. So asterisk p will be equals to 10. So asterisk p means what? Asterisk 101. So if we are assigning 10 inside asterisk p, it means we are assigning value at the address 101 and uh, address 101 uh, is the address of variable a. So if address uh, 101 contains 5, what uh, sorry 10, so what will be the value of a? It is also 10. So output of this program will also be 10 and asterisk p will also print 10. So we can conclude that if we modify any address then the variable also access modified value. If we modify the value of variable then its address also access the modified value and pointer is a medium through which we can access address of a particular variable. Uh, this is a program which says sum of two variables using pointer. So we have total three variables a, b and c and we have three pointers p1, p2 and p3. We are assigning address of a into p1, address of b into p2, address of c into p3. So if we write asterisk p, it means we are accessing value of a. If we write asterisk p2, it means we are accessing value of b. And if we are assigning addition of uh, asterisk p1 and asterisk p2 into asterisk p3, it means we are assigning value inside c. So if we print c here, so c will print addition of a plus b that is equals to 15. Now it's your turn. If you want to practice pointers, you have to implement these programs. First program is to swap values of two variables using pointer. You have to perform uh, this operation using third variable and without using third variable. Second program is uh, to calculate factorial of a number using pointer. So these are two simple problems uh, which you can implement with the help of pointers. Thank you.